The big question is why do we have such uh, theory as quantum theory? And it's uh, not just about explaining experiments, but the very fundamental basic reason. I'm amazed every day when I'm finding something new, when I'm seeing something new and uh, struggling with how can we describe this so we can understand it and the others can understand it. So that's what we're doing here, Foundations of Physics. At the telescope, we have the chance to do long distance optical experiments. We are using so-called down converted photons, which means we are creating pairs of photons. Here's a telescope. The other telescope is over there at the Biesenberg, where we have a receiver station, which is very similar as this one, where we measure the quantum properties of these single photons. But we are not looking at applications for a they happen later. We have chosen this distance of 10 kilometers because it's about the same as the atmosphere. If we communicate with a satellite, which is 400, 500 kilometers above us, it's only the first 10 kilometers that are the big challenge. This green dot we see here, this flickering, is the laser that comes back from Biesenberg and it shows us atmosphere, the turbulence, that is one of the challenges of this experiment. Well, there are two lessons. One lesson is expect the unexpected and make sure that you don't overlook it. And the second lesson is new ideas are very important. The most important ideas are those which are really crazy.